Freaks of Nature uh, also was called Kitchen Sink before it got its final title. It's a 2015 lesser known horror comedy that I wanted to watch because zombies were in it. The concept was really weird. It was a horror comedy about Dilford, a small town that creates riblets, their home of the weird riblet. Uh, however, they coexist with humans, uh, zombies, and vampires. It's a really weird mix of, uh, of things happening. Usually werewolves and vampires fight each other in like the underworld films, but I've never seen a movie do zombies and vampires. And so there's a hierarchy at school. The vampires wear a lot of sunblock so they can go to school during the day. Zombies are looked down on. If you want to go to school, you have to wear a special collar that sort of... Uh, controls your impulses for brains. Uh, the vampires can also turn people and there's some animosity between the townsfolk, but we're focusing on Dag. He's a bit of a growth spurt kid played by Nicholas Braun. Uh, he's friends with um, a nerdy guy who he ditched. That guy's family doesn't like him, so he gets intentionally bitten by a, a zombie. And meanwhile, another girl whose name is uh, Petra, she gets bitten by a vampire, seduced, but then thrown away by her, her lover. So the three of them are at odds, however, aliens show up and that's sort of like the big uh, thing that sort of causes chaos. So the first thing that happens is everyone just starts trying to fight each other and there's a lot of chaos and killing and blood. And then of course they have to find a way to deal with the aliens. So this movie, such low effort, but so much money went into it. It's very strange. It's produced by Orion... Uh, something uh, a producer who probably pulled a lot of strings to get this movie made it, it cost 33 million dollars so the visual effects look great for the blood and the aliens and they've got a huge cast of cameos in there small roles from Keegan Michael Key, Pat Oswalt uh, you know lots of lots of people in this movie is just um, not much of a plot the first half hour is just like really terrible comedic event, uh, events Dennis Leary's in there in a small role too there's just not much going on. It's just half an hour of just people, these, these half-assed attempt jokes, some character development, but there's no world building. There's no explanation for why vampires are there living in the town or why zombies are there. They're just sort of there and they just sort of fight each other. And the movie has the same plot of the world's end. The aliens show up and they basically say like, we will bring you to, you know, peace of humanity or whatever. And then they're like, no. And then... It ends up being kind of a mix mash of all these different things. Just because something's unique doesn't mean it's good. I mean, this movie was originally called Kitchen Sink, where just throw everything together. A movie with like zombies, vampires, and aliens in the same film can sort of blow up the sort of believability. And also the film isn't very funny. It's not very scary. So being a horror comedy, that's kind of like its main thing. There, there was a couple of funny moments. Um, one funny moment in the middle really, but not much else. Uh, and, and the movie's also a little bit weird because there's so many famous actors that are have moved on to other bigger things like um, Mackenzie Davis did Halt and Catch Fire and a couple of big blockbuster movies and Nicholas Braun is in Succession and you know Better Call Saul for uh, Bob Odenkirk so uh, Kitchen Sink is a, it was a drudge to get through it was really hard to watch so I gave it a 2 out of 10.